Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunnear! Today, we have to escape from Victorian Stronghold. Hopefully we'll do better than uh, Pierre tried to do last time. But anyway, okay, so, yeah, Valerie's gone. Oh, wow, not much we can do about that. Uh, definitely want Julio for my ace here. So, let's set him there. I also want him to work on the Dark Saber, which, uh, by the way, since last time, I uh, upgraded it to max level there. So, there you are. Okay, so, let's see. We want Paulo and my thrower for this battle, because the Brute, I've already maxed out. Okay, almost maxed out the mastery of the Battle Axe there. So, let's see. Uh, let's go... Hmm thinking who I want there. Probably Paulo. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. And the thrower here. Alright. Oops, sorry, I went through that a little quickly. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait. No, that guy's not here, is he? Okay, never mind. Sorry, didn't bring the guy into this battle. But all the three guys that I got for this battle, yeah, we got weapon mastery to work on. Yeah, so basically, there's kind of three parts to this battle, even though it's just one deal and it's pretty quick. So, but yeah, you gotta let Alyssa escape first, then your other units escape, and then last, your ace. Your ace cannot escape before the other units do. So, let's see what we got here. Now, we got a, a assassin here, so you don't want to put a unit right here, because otherwise she'll knock you back down onto Alyssa and kill her. So, yeah, that would be really bad. So don't do that. But let's see, we do have a base point over there. Let's see, I'm just looking at what base points I want to capture. Let's see, we got three. Nothing over here. What do we got over here? Oh, another uh, assassin, huh? Okay, so we got five base points up here, and I'll try to capture as many as I can. But anyway, first things first. Let's uh, get Julio going. And, yeah, let's attack that uh, assassin there. I don't need the uh, base point way back there. So, let's uh, go with good darkness raid. Yeah, not that blind's really going to help her, but... Or, help us against her, but oh well. Now, at least at first in this battle, most of the enemies won't attack you until uh, you, you've attacked them. At least at the start of the battle. Later on, things might change. But anyway. Okay, so I get knocked back a little bit. That's okay. Let's get my uh, thrower in the action up there. Hmm, can I get you over here? I could. But I don't need all those base points yet. We'll just, uh... What did you get in your next turn? The assassin. Thing. There you are. Okay, yeah, you're not going to get your turn for a while, so, yeah, let's just, uh, move Thrower up there. Uh, by the way, Alyssa is at level one in this battle, and she's, uh, automatically controlled. She's just a guest here. But, yes, yeah, as, as you can tell, she's, well, more than brittle, or whatever. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Okay, so, yeah, basically just protect Alyssa. And grab some base points along the way if we can. Oh, I should get uh, Paulo uh, charging up a spell against the uh, thrower there. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of hard to do it from where I am. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. I can't grab the base point there yet, but I'm not going to anyway. Not yet anyway. Okay, Julio, good. You're back in action. Now, I don't want to attack the assassin in the back here, because if I do, then that'll make all the other units go apeshit after me. So, yeah, don't do that. We can kill her later. But right now, we just gotta get Alyssa to escape. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got the spell through, so... Mm -hmm. What are you getting your next turn? Okay, not for a while still. I just don't want the assassin to knock me off the battlefield. <laughs> that would be bad. And take another base point. Awesome. So yeah, they got a lot of units, but they're not going to be doing a whole lot for, for now. Anyway. 
Let's see, can I get there? No. So, let's see, let's move over here. And then I'll grab that other base point. The assassin will not attack us unless we attack her first. Can I hit this one? Uh, I could try, but I don't think it'll work. It won't knock back into Alyssa because we got the stair in the way. So, let's see. Hey, all right. Good shot. All right. Specialty 2 ability. Now we can initiate beats, I think. Isn't that the specialty 2 or is that the first one? I forget. Well, we'll get our turn soon enough and find out. Okay, let's see. We got you. Hmm. I can't get a, a cool orb off in time, but I think I can do red pillar. Yeah, that'll do. And that'll definitely kill her. So, okay, let's do that, then. Oh, I want to check out my, uh, uh, Julio's, uh, or not Julio, the throwers. Uh, there it is, okay. Okay, yeah, we got the Specialty 2 ability. I don't really care about the Specialty 1 ability. It's a two-panel piercing attack, like a whip or something, but I never use it. So, let's, uh, grab this other base point while the... Assassin is taking a nap there, I guess. I don't know what she's doing. I don't want to know. But, alright. Easy enough. Get some more weapon mastery. Now, I'm probably just going to have Julio jump off the edge of the platform here. Because it would take too long to walk all the way around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to have you uh, move there. Now, you see why I uh, didn't equip a whole lot of equipment on everyone? Because, well, we only got three party members, and we wouldn't get our turns fast enough. So, let's just uh, get Julio out of the way there. And, let's see, Marjorie's doing okay. But we might as well, yeah, grab the base point. And, let's see, Paulo, are you ready? Well, Julio is too, but why don't I get you going? Because I want you to be able to uh, be ready to cast spells when I need them. But yeah, don't worry about the other assassin there. And Alyssa's going to make a beeline for the escape point, whether you're ready or not. <laughs> so, I want to be careful with that. Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll just jump off here and uh, take a little damage. Well, that was a bit more than I thought we'd take, but... Okay. Not the end of the world. Um, let's see. You don't need healing. Only Julio does. Can I get you with a heal? Yes, I can. All right. Aerial cure is so good. So, let's see. How far are we from the... Daybreak. Let's see. 27 clock ticks. So, want to be careful. Um, don't move Julio out of the way. And how about we just go up to there for now? Awesome. Want to be ready because we're going to be having to fight all these guys at once, practically. Um, Paulo? No, you're not going to get your turn for a while. Okay. Well, then let's uh, just get ready for Alyssa coming down here. Basically, what I want to do is create a wall with my characters, so that way uh, they can't get to Alyssa. Oh, and by the way, the escape point is that glowing green tile right there. So, yeah, we got to get Alyssa to be able to reach that point. Um, let's see, I'm just going to uh, wait for... Well, yeah, I could grab the base point at least, I guess. And Julia, block that off. Awesome. Now you want to be really careful. Don't line up next to the moat there because it has a depth of two. And that means instant death for you guys. And yeah, uh, Alyssa should be able to get by reasonably easy enough. Let's get Paulo over here. And by the time the daytime hits, I think the enemies are going to start attacking us. Not that it especially matters with the abilities I've got. Okay, Alyssa, make your move. Now, 
we all you gotta do is like I was saying earlier, get Alyssa to escape, Paulo and Martin to escape, and then you're ace. That's all you gotta do to win the battle. Or at least sort of win the battle. But I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to uh, try to kill all the enemy units. You don't have to, and it's kind of hard to do it, but we can make it. So let's get uh, Apollo started here. Now, yeah, this battle, unlike the previous battles where you don't have to win, this one you actually can win. There's no Aventrion or unlimited enemies uh, coming or reinforcements or anything like that. So, yeah, I want to see if I can try and do that. Um, let's see, how are you doing? Okay, can Martin hit anyone from here? I don't think so. I want to keep my characters here, because I'd rather the enemies not go over this way to Alyssa. Hmm. I suppose I... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah, I'd get hit by my own spell. I was thinking I might try to take on the assassin there, but no. See, there's no one in range. What if I went here? I could, but I don't want to risk it. We'll just... Actually, there's the assassin in here. Hmm. Could I hit her? No, I'm blocked by the castle wall. Okay, yeah, just advance the clock then. Let the enemies come to us. All right, not bad, Paulo, not bad. Let's see, let's get uh, Julio some action there. Try to lure more of the enemies over here. And, nope, no boost that I really care about. Hmm, yeah, just that. I was thinking maybe I could try to move someone in range for a beat with her, or with Julio. Sorry, this is the hair. But, uh, nah, we can't do that. At least not easily, anyway. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, Nelson is an ace, so that means he's immune to knockback. Hmm. Let's go one more clock tick, and then have Julio try to finish her off. Um, we can do it here, but I don't want the guard, potential guard rate. So let's do it this way. That way she can't guard it. Thank you for uh, not putting your back to the wall. Made it so much easier for me. And if I'm lucky here, uh, one thing that I would really like to try and show off is the infinite knockback trick. There's a way where, well, you know, when you knock an enemy into a wall, they'll take the initial damage from your attack, and then they'll take, like, a very small amount of damage from, well, not really whiplash, but, um, uh, what's the word for that sort of thing? Well, they take damage upon hitting the wall, in addition to the damage of the attack itself. Okay, so, we got first part out of the way. But yeah, um, if you knock a unit back into another unit, you can deal damage to both of them, and they'll take some additional knockback damage. But there's a trick that you can do where you can knock units back into each other over and over and over again, and you can do it infinitely. But it only happens on some very specific circumstances, and I've only seen it in this battlefield. So, I'll see what I can do. Okay, uh, Julio, yeah, why don't you just... Well, actually, how are you doing? You know, I could get Paulo to try and heal you. Can I do that in time? Let's see, 12. Now they got too many units. And I need to uh, grab the bag there anyway. A little late on that one, but oh well. Uh, I don't need a rock. No, thank you. Uh-oh. Nice. Okay, Julio, get out of there. How much time do we got? We got enough, but... Um... Hmm. Okay, neither of these guys are going to come after me. At least not quickly. So, yeah, I'm fine. I just don't want to get, like, blocked from escaping there. Okay, one more clock tick ought to do. Awesome. So basically what I like to do is I like to put Julio right here so that way they can't knock me into the moats there. 
get out of the way of the spell, and then Paulo can try and heal us up a little bit. What I'd also like to do is try to avoid putting characters on a row or in a column next to each other, so that way the Paladins can't hit both units at once. So, let's see what I want to do. Where's that assassin? There's one up here that's coming after us. How far is she? Okay, she's going to take a while to get to us. So we'll be fine. But I can get uh, Martin here. Over there. Go with beat. Can I do a boost? No. Nah. Okay, well, that'll be good enough. Yeah, nice thing about Sparkle Spear. Initiate beat. Eh, not that blind really hurts them. They use magic attacks. Oh, well. If I can get the infinite knockback trick to work, I will show it off. But if I can't, I'm not going to go out of my way for it. There's another battle where it's a lot easier to accomplish that. And, yeah, let's just keep having Martin going. I don't even have to move. They don't have a healer, I don't think. Do they have, like, uh, any a medical or medicinal herbs or something? I don't think so. Well, you have an elixir, but that's not... A worse thing. Okay, yeah, we can uh, just keep on going. Yeah, just stay in line here. Just line up single file. That would make life a lot easier. Awesome. Wow, you really want to die, don't you? Let's see. I'll get my turn before the spell happens. So we'll be fine with that. So either I need to get out of the way or kill him. I could knock him back, but chances are he dies from that anyway. Okay. Hmm. How to do this? That'll do. He can't even guard me. Ha ha. And, nope, I don't need to uh, do that. So, let's see. Yeah, Nelson's kind of staying right there. Um, hmm, can I get that in time? There's nothing over there, though. Hmm. hmm, I don't think I... Oh, we got the assassin over here. She's not in range yet, though. Okay. Can I hit the uh, gunner there? I could, but not very likely to do anything, but I'll see what I can do. Why not? And, yep, just a regular attack. I would really like to get Julio some more work, because he needs a lot of mastery to get that special 2-1 ability unlocked. He needs to get it up to 32. So, hopefully, once these enemies get closer, I'll be able to do that. Yeah, that's an attack that gunners can do that hits uh, enemies diagonally to them. It's one of the very few attacks in the game that can actually do something like that. Okay. Let's see. Paulo, can you uh, freeze that assassin for us, please? Thank you. Get Martin out of the way, and then I can get some work for... Uh, for Julio there. And, yeah, we can hit that guy easily enough. Hmm, I'm killing these units a little more quickly than I might otherwise like to. Because uh, I, you need a lot of units in order to do the infinite knockback trick. But so far, well, we'll see. Hmm. Oh, right. I uh, forgot, almost forgot about the item bag. Well, Darkness Raid would have been useful against this guy if he were alive long enough, but he is not. Now, I'll have to be careful here, because I don't want to get knocked into the moat there when I grab that item bag. But I can grab this one just fine. Uh-oh. Uh, Martin? Can you, uh, stop that magic? Oh, we didn't freeze her. Whoops. Okay. Um, hmm. Got you there. I could just knock you into the moat. That may not be a bad idea. How are you doing, Julio? Man, we can't get far enough over to do that anyway. 
Okay, well, the top priority is stopping the sorceress, so I could knock her in over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the only way it's gonna... Well, I could go here and then knock her back from here. That wouldn't kill her, though. But I think I have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Get Julio back, and hopefully he'll be able to, uh... Oh. Oh, wait, no. no. Okay, we're, we're still good. I was thinking, uh... The Paladin was gonna take that item bag there. 